Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gaming with me, Tony Mo, and we're here today to talk a little bit about my future plans for this channel, the things I'll be covering, and the ways in which I'll be covering them. I get asked a lot lately in the comment section over on Twitch, Tony, what are you playing? Are you going to be playing this? Are you going to be playing that? Everybody wants to know what sort of games they can expect to see me playing, whether it be on Twitch or here on the channel, as we move into fall, which of course is the big release time window for all of these new games. A lot of people asking me about things like Destiny 2, and of course I've talked about Lawbreakers. So I really wanted to share with you guys, I like to be transparent about this stuff so you know what you can expect on the channel because I've never been somebody to be like, I just won't tell them. And then all of a sudden they'll realize that I'm like playing this other game alongside of Titanfall 2 and then they'll unsubscribe. No, I'm gonna let you know. If you wanna unsubscribe, hey, that's completely up to you. So let me make it very clear. I still really love playing Titanfall 2. In fact, playing the game on PC has reignited my passion for Titanfall 2, so I plan on doing a lot of that. A lot of you have already seen me streaming like exclusively on PC during my solo queue days, having a lot of fun, messing around with the Kraber, just improving my aim, you know, playing with everything, softball, playing with the alternator, and really just trying to get better at mouse and keyboard, trying to get to a point where I can do as well as I do on the Xbox One with a controller. In terms of what types of content you're going to be seeing for Titanfall 2, though, I'm going to be going into a phase where I'm doing a lot more live commentaries. So I'd like to get out at least two Titanfall 2, like, straight focus videos a week that are live commentaries, while also trying to finish up some of the things that I was halfway through. Uh, for example, I'm still going to be working on the 1v1 series with Dino. We're taking a break from that this week just to kind of rethink on how we can maybe structure it a little bit better. So it's a little bit shorter and so people get more information more quickly out of it. That's something that I felt was very important. Something I asked you guys a lot about in the last video and something I think we can do very well. I'm also going to be finishing up my revisiting of the Titans. So there's still a couple Titans we have left to revisit, to replay, to talk about how I feel about them right now. You know, the same way we did with Scorch and with, uh, with Tone and we did it with Northstar I think at this point as well. And we also did it with Legion recently. So we're going to be going back and doing that with Ronin. And I'll probably even be hitting up Monarch now that Monarch's been out for a while and not everyone is playing Monarch and talk a little bit about where I feel she is uh, from a public play perspective, of course. So still a lot of like uh, bigger projects for Titanfall 2 that I'm going to be focusing on. But next week, Wednesday, we have the return of the Lawbreakers beta. So this is like a pretty extensive period in which I'm going to be playing a lot of Lawbreakers, especially on stream. In fact, next week, Wednesday, we're going to be replacing that community play day with the Lawbreakers Day. The beta is going to be going live at 12 p.m. EST. I'm going to be playing right at launch as soon as the servers go live and doing a super long stream. We're probably going to stream all day, potentially 12 hours until midnight. Nothing but Lawbreakers. So if you guys want to come hang out with me, grab a drink, get a snack that day, you know, chill and chat, grab yourself a cold one, whether it be alcoholic or non-alcoholic, and come hang out with me for the Lawbreakers beta return on Wednesday, that is the day to do it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. And really, if you haven't seen Lawbreakers, or if you just want to come hang out and talk, you guys know I am when I'm streaming. I'm not always completely absorbed in the game. I'm pretty good at interacting with chat, even when things get busy. Uh, it's just, I like that. It's fun, you know? It's a cool way to hang out and just talk with you guys about games. A lot of people came in chat yesterday, and we talked for like a half an hour at the end of the stream just about time to kill and about melee, you know? If, if you like to have a good discussion, and you're not someone looking to just like argue, you know, and get frustrated with someone else's opinion. I love doing stuff like that. I did it with uh, Guy JP yesterday. We talked about Melee extensively and the ups and downs and why he likes it, why I don't like it. I love trading opinions like that. I do it all the time with my friends. It's a great thing, and I'm really open to it. So if you want to come hang out on Twitch and do that sort of thing with me, that is definitely a great place to do. It's way easier for me to explain myself while actually doing uh, Twitch commentary rather than trying to reply through 50 different messages across YouTube and uh, Twitter. So the next big game... While well, we're going to be uh, working Lawbreakers, August Lawbreakers is going to be releasing. So we're going to be working that into the fray. I've already talked about how that's going to be the game that I start doing guides and stuff on now. Alongside of the Titanfall 2 live commentaries and the series with Dino that we're talking about. We're also going to be taking a look at Destiny 2. Destiny 2 is definitely on the radar. The beta is very soon. I definitely want to play the beta, bring you guys my like impressions on it. We'll make some comparisons to Destiny 1. And the big thing going forward, I want to make this very clear. The primary concept behind my channel has always been the sharing of video games. You know, lots of those sort of discussion topics on like why, uh, you know, how I can make comparisons to like things you should be working on in games to better yourself as well as to better yourself as a human being. That's always been a part of my channel. People always point out, hey, Tony, you taught like a life lesson and you related to a game. I like doing stuff like that because we're here playing games together. We can make that connection point, right? So if we can 
somehow replicate that within a video game, then it's easy to all of a sudden be like, wow, yeah, that does really apply to the real world. So plenty of that stuff. Uh, definitely going to be at the core of the channel and always making sure that I'm looking at helping people at the lower tier skill spectrum. Uh, one of the things that I learned over the last like five years now of doing YouTube is that you can never really, uh, you know, a lot of people will say there's no way anybody like, it, you know, is, is that low on the learning curve. There's no way there, that anybody really needs to be told these things. And that's just absolutely not true. I've always looked at it like I was explaining a project in high school. You know, in high school, they'd always tell you when you wrote like a, a persuasive paper or something where you had to talk about an, a, a subject, they'd be like, you got to act like you're telling me and I have no idea what's going on. And I've always tried to make that the point of any of my guides for these games. So I'm going to be looking at Lawbreakers the same way, making sure that anytime I talk about Lawbreakers or Destiny 2, that I'm looking at people who are trying to enjoy this game. You know, I don't think that uh, there's that many people out there who are like great at games who need me to tell them how to play. Of course, some people are looking for advanced strategies, and there's plenty of people who are going to be doing that stuff. But I like to look at the people who really want to enjoy games, but they just find themselves struggling with that initial barrier for entry. That's always been a part of my channel, and that will continue to be a part of my channel going forward, regardless of the games that I cover. So Destiny 2 is absolutely on the radar. Uh, I'm definitely going to start working in some more like first impressions videos. More, I'd like to start doing maybe some reviews like I used to. You know, especially with like Battlefront 2 around the corner. That's a game that I probably am not going to play on the channel consistently. But I'm going to pick it up and I'd love to talk about it. Maybe do a short stream with it and then actually, you know, give you guys my impressions on it. Try and get early access to some of this stuff going forward now that the channel's a bit bigger. So I can actually bring you guys reviews before launch day even. That's something that I used to work on quite a bit. So I'd like to try and do more of that. Uh, you know, kind of, again, focus on the gaming aspect of it while also still... Uh, focusing on, you know, one or two games. Basically, what I realized is that if I cover, like, one game or even two games extensively, like I've been doing with Titanfall 2, I end up, like, dropping a lot of content within that week, right? And that's okay. Like, I have no problem, like, just grinding it out and being able to get all this content in one week. But I'd rather space it out a little bit more and be able to start to inject other things into the channel. So you still get all the stuff that you subbed for, and you still get it at the same quality level, it just drops less frequently, and you get some extra tastings in between. It's like going to one of those restaurants where you order your main meal, and then they bring out a bunch of like surprise entrees for you to try, and you're like, oh, that's, that's exciting. I've always encouraged open-mindedness, and I'd like to start to inject that back into the channel, even if it hurts growth a little bit. I'm okay with that, uh, because I think at this point, it's just the right thing to do. So, yeah, there you go, guys. A rough outline of what you can expect from Tony Mo Gaiman going forward. Uh, Twitch, if you guys haven't realized, has been a big part of me for like the last two months now. I've been really dedicating a lot of time to Twitch. It's a lot of fun. It's a great way to interact with you guys. Um, you know, I've been streaming on like off days a lot even. Just whenever I get a chance, it's it's just a, it's become a really big passion alongside of YouTube for me. Something that I'm sitting there and the moment I realize I have free time, if I'm not, like, you know, hanging out with the family, all of a sudden I'm like, man, I'm going to stream. <laughs> I'm going to hop on a stream because I want to. It's fun. I like interacting with you guys in that environment. So uh, it's been a lot of fun the last couple of months. I just want to thank you guys all for the support. I really want to thank everybody who's been supporting me over on Patreon. There's, like, 12 people on Patreon now. All of that money, all the funds from Patreon are now going into a savings account to work on building a streaming PC over the next couple of months. So streaming can be more efficient. And it should even help with some of my recording stuff as well. So that's the next big project that patron supporters are supporting. If you're interested in checking out my patron and what I offer over there, I will have a link uh, right down in the pinned comment as well as in the description. So, again, just wanted to give you guys a rough idea of what the future looks like for this channel so you can know what to expect. And a lot of people, I think, concerned about how much longer I'm going to be playing Titanfall 2. And uh, I'm going to be playing as long as Respawn keeps supporting it. The other big thing, of course, is news coverage. You know, that's something that does well for the channel, that brings new people to the game. And that is something I'm definitely going to be doing. Also, for those people who are like, Tony, just accept the game the way it is. I'm never going to accept the game just the way it is and say, that's fine. Leave it as is. If I'm playing this game and dedicating all this time to it, and, you know, I want to look at ways as a player that I can suggest to respawn that, you know, the game might be able to grow, I'm going to keep doing that. You know, it's just, it's just an opinion. Relax, man. People getting so salty. They're filling up a salt factory. Because this is how I feel about the game. You know, you don't, you don't see me in the comments being like, Hey, screw you, man. You don't like High Time to Kill. You should probably go sit in a toilet somewhere, bro. So just relax. Just relax, man. It's video games. We're all just trying to enjoy them and give the best possible feedback that we can to the developers as players of the game. That's it for me, guys. 
If you happen to pop over on stream, well, I probably already saw you there. Other than that, I hope you have a great day and a great week. And as always, remember to play smart, remember to play to challenge yourself, but most importantly, remember to play for fun.